Um, feel like uh, that one got taken away from you guys? Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, we, we equalized in the last minute. We had a, Moses Dyer had a good chance, just missed a post, and then we didn't clear lines and, and let Cavalry in to, you know, get the winner. But uh, full credit to Cavalry. You know, they came out second half. They pinned us back um, for most of the second half, but our boys dug in and we just got to learn from it. You know, a little bit more experience just to clear the ball and, and, and take the point. But wasn't to be. Uh, all right, we'll go to Zoom next for questions. Mitchell, you can go ahead. Yeah, thanks, Daryl. I just wanted to get your thoughts on the defensive effort of your side as a whole. I mean, obviously, you know, tough to tough to end like that. But I thought, by and large, you guys did a good job against you know one of the better attacks in in the Canadian Premier League. Yeah, for sure. This is one of the toughest places to come in, in the league, for sure. Um, not many teams come here and pick up points. Uh, the last two league games, we got clean sheets, and you know, I thought we we defended pretty well today. Um, especially the first half, we didn't give cavalry much. Uh, and then, you know, we, we gave away a penalty and then we switched off at the, for the second goal. But overall, I, th I thought we defended quite well. We, we, we looked quite comfortable um, and just, just switched off in the, the last play. Yeah, deserve. But I don't think, uh, I don't take uh, moral wins. I think that it was a, a, a game that we fought hard. I can't take that away from the guys. I think that it was very, very even for um, large parts of the game. Of course, when you come here and you play against a good team, they're going to have moments where they'll, they'll push you back a bit. That's part of the game. We know it's going to happen and we come prepared for that. And uh, I felt we dealt well with that. But then this is a game of, of plays. You need to do the next play and the next play. And I look at the second half, they get the PK when we have a good counter. Uh, we have a chance to break and uh, Guti's ball doesn't go through and then we concede the PK. And then um, after equalizing, we have a great chance, uh, Dyer with two of our players in, in the back post and we don't capitalize on that one. And then that play at the end needs to be made. That play needs to be made and we need to uh, experience these things to learn from them and I think that's my biggest message it's uh, and I told told my bench that as soon as, as soon as it happened I said there's things you need to absolutely experience if you want to grow as a team and it's unfortunate we didn't get the result um, but it's uh, it's it's not a this is not a sprint we there's a lot of good things that we take from the game and we need to we need to uh, keep working and uh, minimize uh, the errors that are putting us in trouble when the opposition does get a chance. So, uh, yeah, there's uh, there's a lot a lot to look back to. Uh, great, thank you very much, Todd. We'll go to Zoom next for questions. Mitchell, I see your hand up again. You can go ahead. Thanks, Bill. Um, I thought you guys did a pretty good job of, of defending overall, especially keeping Cavalry to the outside um, during the match. Um, just, I guess, the play of Diego and and Daryl in front of your back line to kind of um, keep them out of that space at, at the top of your box. Yeah, they're experienced players. They they understood that, um, that it was important to defend that space and, and play close to our, you know, the way... Um, Cavalry just pushes their, their two midfielders or, or Moussi and, and Latori uh, in support to their, um, their forward. It's important that we get that, that coverage and, and our, our midfielders playing close to the center back, especially for second balls. And I think they did that well, but they also were able to keep us on the ball when we were in possession. So, of course, with tired legs, you start to see, uh, to see a little bit more mistakes, but these things are going to happen. So um, they're two experienced players and they did well. Now what's the next level and how can we maximize uh, their strengths even even more? And that's what we, uh, we have to work and keep progressing as a team. Uh, thank you, Mitchell. Uh, we'll move on to the next question. 
Mark, I believe you have your hand up. Hey, Coach, tough one today. Uh, how do you rally when you have, like, everything sort of happened really late in the game? Yeah. How, so how, uh, how does that affect the team? You know, they, they, there was some success they were seeing throughout, and then just to have it sort of shut down at the end on them. It, they can't be affected by this. They, this, is, this is a game, right? There's, there's a lot more to come. I think that um, if we were affected by this going into the week and what we have to do during the week or next game, it's because we have a problem. I think this is one of those that we look at and there's a lot of positives to grab and we work and we make sure that uh, we're ready to go next next week because we have another very difficult game on the road. Uh, we came here to play against uh, against a good team, a team that we know is well prepared. It's a team that's uh, has competed for the top spots f since their existence. So um, we need to realize also that there's there's been a lot of good things for us and and look at them in a in a pragmatic way and in, uh, in a positive way. And, you know, there's gonna be isolated moments that we need to look back at and say, okay, how, how can we minimize these mistakes? But now, um, mentally or emotionally, we have to move on. We have to move on. These, these are our mountains we'll have to climb as, with the season. And like I said, sometimes teams need to experience these moments in order to, to grow. And, uh, and move on. So we played a good team today. We played a team that we, we know their strengths, you know, we know what they have to bring, and it's always gonna be difficult to come here. We fought hard. It could have gone both ways. It went their way, so congrats to them. Now we move on and we, we just uh, keep pushing forward. Uh, one quick follow-up. The Sirwa stopped another, uh, I know it ended up being a goal at the end, but he stopped another penalty kick. How is how like how is he built different? Like what's what's he doing that other goalers aren't doing? I don't know. You have to ask his mom and his dad. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> He's uh, what do you want me to tell you? He reads the situation well and he he, he makes the save. It's uh, I don't know. People keep asking me about. It. It's not like there's a secret or there's magic or anything. He reads the situation like. You know, uh, like a forward who finds the spaces in the box and, and scores and yeah, he's just good at what he does. At the end of the day, again, it's, it's good to have him on our side. But like I said, it's, uh, that's a small moral victory in, 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 uh, in the middle of everything. It's good, good for him. We're happy, he's, he's above all a great professional, a great guy to have in the locker room. And hopefully he'll keep uh, doing these things for us throughout the season. Yeah, <laughs> I don't score too many, so it has to be, right? Yeah, it was a big goal. What can I say? Big moment. Um, I'm just thankful that the opportunity came and I was able to put it away. How important the, uh, is that for you, given the year that you've had? <sighs> Man, I just, I like blacked out when I scored. I can't even lie. Just so many emotions came through me. It's been such a long wait. I feel like I've... The last 18 months has tested me so much, man, and just to have that moment after, after everything, man, that means the world to me. What did you see on the play? All I see was I think Jose or somebody went down the left and they got to the byline, and I was kind of just like around the edge trying to make a late run in, and then I see Meyer get to the byline, and he's, I think he's going to square it, so I'm just around the edge for like pieces, whatever comes out, and it just falls my way, and I just tried to side foot it, like keep it on target, keep it low, and thankfully went in. Uh, great, we'll go next to Zoom for questions. Cami, you can go ahead. Hey, Elijah. I'm just kind of following up on what Todd was asking there. Just considering uh, your recovery, everything you've had to go through, kind of watching from the sidelines, what gave you faith that you were going to be able to make it back to this point, be on the team, and find that first goal? I don't know. I'm just... I really believe that you get what you work for and like through the whole process I had a lot of good people around me that just kept me, they kept me honest, they kept me working. Um, shout out to the physios, my friends, everyone that like really held me down and I don't know, I just think if you're like, you just have to be mentally strong, you have to believe when not many other people believe and thankfully like opportunities present themselves and man, I don't know, you just, I got one today and thankfully I was able to take it. 
Just a shame there wasn't a snowbank for you to dive into, hey? <laughs> Wait, what? Sorry? Just a shame there wasn't a snowbank for you to dive into to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, hey? What can I say? The Atacubis love a big moment. <laughs> uh, do you, are you going to get a chance to uh, talk to Sam? Do you know if he's been uh, watching the games or not? Uh, I mean, I haven't even been able to check my phone uh, after the game. It all just kind of happened quickly. So I'm sure when I go back to the locker room and see my phone, there's going to be a missed FaceTime call, a text from him, and he's just going to say something crazy to me like, like, good for you, man. I don't know. John, thank you so much. Thank you, Cami. Uh, next, we'll go to Mitchell for your question. Yeah, speaking of, you know, big moments, uh, the second straight week, right, you guys are able to, to you know, get a result in, in injury time, obviously bettering the result this time. What does that say about your group that you guys play, you know, till that final whistle? I mean, in my whole time here, that's been something that's been a calling card of our team. I think we kind of have this never give up, never say die mentality, um, especially at home with our fans cheering us on to the, the, the 95th minute. So shout out to every guy on this team. Everyone's got a strong mentality in training. We work hard, we push ourselves and we always believe. And I think with belief and like, if you really believe to the last minute, it's never over. And thankfully, like, we, we showed that today. And the effort of Charlie off the bench, obviously creating that goal um, for you and winning the penalty as well. Um, how important has it been to have him and you know his veteran presence uh, brought into the squad? It's amazing. Um, I think he made his impact as, as soon as he came on as well. And he had a, an amazing moment. And shout out the whole roster that we have. I think it's, it's a team where throughout the season, you're going to see guys have many bit different moments. Thankfully, Charlie had one today. I had one today. But with the roster we have and the quality we have and the, the depth we have, I think there's going to be a lot of big moments for a lot of players this year. And anytime you get quality like that, he's had a great career. He's played at many different places and he's hungry. He's still driven. So to have guys like that pushing you day in, day out, it, it only iron sharpens iron, right? Thank you, Elijah. Thank you, Mitchell. Uh, final question for Elijah. We'll go back to the room. Todd? I know you're right now about this one, but um, thinking ahead to Wednesday, the Whitecaps, um, it's always a fun kind of game to think about, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie today. I think I'm just going to go home, enjoy the moment today, you know, hang out with the friends. And then once we get back tomorrow, we rest and recover, then we'll start to think about that. But yeah, we've played them before. We've been in those moments. And I think when it's time to prepare for them, we're, we're all locked in, knowing that that's another big game, another chance for us to make a statement. But um, today, we got to celebrate what just happened. It's a, it's a big one. What is it about you, you guys and the MLS teams that really get you pumped? I think it's, 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 a, it's just the biggest stage, right? Anytime it's the biggest stage, you play the best teams. Like, if you're someone that's competitive and you're driven, whenever you get a chance to play and test your quality against the best, there's no extra motivation needed. That's the things that you work for, and especially a lot of the guys that we have on our team feel like they have a lot of quality that they can show against teams of that nature. So for us, just having opportunities to play teams like that, we just see it as like, it's like a fighter. If you get a heavyweight title fight, like you're up for it, you know what I mean? And we're gonna be up for it. Well, I've got to give credit to the lads. They, they just don't have any quit in them. You know, it's not ideal when you, you can see the goal late, having just scored late. But they don't quit. We've seen it last week against Halifax. You know, it's a pattern that they'll keep playing until the final whistle. And we talked about this as something in the off-season, play to the in whistle. And the boys are doing that, so I've got to give them credit because next man up, Elijah's had a long time out. You know, Charlie Trafford came in and made a huge difference when there's the penalty and driving to get us the assist. And then couldn't have happened to a better person for what he's been through. And that just shows the club culture. You know, we'll celebrate. I'm sure we'll get a slap on the wrist for celebrating. But our national team did it. And we felt because of the moment in him, we were going to celebrate those uh, small victories. Yeah, could, uh, Tommy, it's Scott Strasser from AFTN. Uh, could you maybe elaborate a little on the subs that you made today and, and the difference that they brought? Yeah, listen, I mean, because we had um, Arabin Pepple and, and Davy Norman that were with us this week, and then they just took a bit of an illness, so couldn't make the lineup. Um, we, we know the quality of Charlie. We know the quality of, of, of Elijah. Um, Jean Agnel has unbelievable pace for days, and he gives their you know, fullbacks a different problem. And when they came into the game, they did change the game. And you know, credit to Valor. I thought they played, a, a, I think it was a very even game. You know, and um, we stole it at the end just with our mentality. Um, but Charlie's a big presence. He gets about the pitch very well. He changed the outcome. He did the same against Halifax last week, and I'm sure I'll be getting a knock on the door about uh, you know, when he returns to the starting lineup. But these are the problems we want to have. Uh, one more question for me, and it is going to be about Vancouver coming up mm -hmm. next. Yeah. But 
given the, the goalkeeping situation um, and the win today, I mean, what, what's kind of the, the, the team's sense of belief at this moment? Um, I think like anything, we, we take it one game at a time. It's a wonderful opportunity to, to play the Vancouver Whitecaps. You know, they're an established team from, um, you know, an established league. And we've got a great memories of the series we had in 2019. So I think Wednesday is a wonderful opportunity for our fans, our players, coaches, ownership group to enjoy another one. That, and it's an opportunity to put more um, pictures on the wall and memories in the bank. So uh, we'll, we'll watch their game tomorrow. You know, I'm sure... Um, they'll probably have a few poker hands that they'll play and we'll just look at what we can do to nullify their strengths and expose any weaknesses they may have.